Hey everyone, my name is Zha Chen Jiang, and I'm a product manager on Azure Container Apps. In this video, I'm going to spend about 10 minutes showing you how to deploy a distributed .NET application to the cloud. In order to do that, I'm going to be using the new Aspire Orchestrator, which was announced as part of .NET 8 and is going to be generally available this summer. Well, before I start talking too much, I'm going to go dive straight into the code. You can see here we have a solution called eShop Lite, which is your standard e-commerce website. It's what we call a distributed application or microservices because there are several different pieces here. We have our front end in the folder called store. This is going to be a Blazor web app that connects to our backend API and products. What our backend API does is it calls a SQLite database and brings in all that data in the form of the product class, which we define in data entities. Because we don't have Aspire set up for this project, it's going to be a little tricky to run and deploy. Because we don't just have one startup project as we do in a monolithic app, we're going to go into Solution Explorer, right click, and configure startup projects so we can tell Visual Studio how we want to run. You can see that the default here is the single startup project, which isn't right here. So we go over to multiple startup projects. We go into action. We say we can start without debugging. We apply, and that's good to go. It's when we want to deploy to the cloud that it gets a little bit trickier. I'm not actually going to do it in this video because that in of itself is going to take more than 10 minutes. But the gist of it is you're going to deploy each service separately and by hand connect each of them to each other. So connecting your back end to your front end and vice versa. Now let's take a look at how we can add Aspire to our application. I'm using Vis Visual Studio Preview and I already have the Aspire workload installed. So what I can do is right click on Store and click Add. You'll see that I have an option to add .NET Aspire Orchestrator support. This is going to add two new projects to our solution. AppHost is going to be the connective tissue between each of these projects. And you can see that we have add project for store as well as for products. When we want to run our application, we just right click, debug, start without debugging, and wait for this to execute. We can see that our Aspire application is now running. And we open up a data dashboard that shows us our project both as an overview as well as giving us the ability to go into more detail so we can figure out what our front end is doing as well as our back end. Now let's take a look at how we can deploy this to the cloud. I'm going to exit out of my application. So I've already downloaded the Azure Developer CLI. So all I have to do is say azd init, which will set up our application to deploy. We want to use the code in our current directory. It's going to wait a bit. But what azd is doing on the back end is it's connecting everything for us. Great. So azd was able to tell that we have a .NET Aspire application and will help us host the application on Azure Container Apps. Going to expose my front end to the internet, but not my back end, and set up a new environment. Cool. We are now ready to deploy, which I can do by typing azd up. So it's going to take a little while to deploy. So I'm going to do this like I'm the host of a cooking show and show you the finished results of a deployment I did earlier today. Let's go into the Azure portal so we can see our finished product. So here's the resource group that has everything we just deployed. You can see we have a container apps environment. 
This holds all the container apps within our solution. Because an environment is mapped to a single Kubernetes cluster, all the container apps within an environment can talk to each other very easily and can have the same credentials and configurations applied to them. Now let's go into our front end container app to see some more details around how our application is running. So here's our app in the cloud. And you can see you have a lot of different options for getting insight into your app. You can monitor using metrics and logs and even setting up alerts. You can integrate open source tools like Dapper. But last and certainly not least, you can set up scale rules so your application can be really flexible about what it needs to do. Something Container Apps offers is scale to zero, which means if you set the minimum amount of replicas to zero, when no one is using your application, you won't get charged for anything. But when you get a huge crowd coming in, the application can scale really quickly to the maximum amount of replicas so it can handle the demand. If we go into the revisions and replicas page, we can see all the different containers that we have running at a time. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff I can talk about in terms of what Container App can help you do with your .NET application. But that's going to have to wait for another video. In conclusion, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has given you better understanding into how .NET Aspire integrates into Azure Container Apps and makes you excited to try it out. Thanks, everyone.